is why we say a pigeon coos. How was that, Seth? Perfect, Seth. I think we got it. Oh, hello. I'm Seth McFarlane, creator of Family Guy. I'm just putting some finishing touches on the new Family Guy DVD, Volume 4, available in stores everywhere November 14th. Well, that sounded like a shameless plug. Guess I sort of wrote it that way, huh? Anyway, let's take a look at a scene from this past season. You know, Lois, Chris is cool and everything, but uh, since he killed that guy, uh, I don't know, maybe he shouldn't be living with us here now. Peter, I'm scared. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll have plenty of time to escape while he's killing Meg. He hates her the most. Hey, everybody. What's for dinner? I'm starving. My God, his bloodlust is unquenchable. Hey, Chris, why don't you take your sister into the kitchen for a sandwich? I don't want to die! <laughs> you know, originally, Family Guy wasn't going to be a cartoon. In fact, the scene you just saw was part of the very first episode, which was shot with real actors. Don't believe me? Swear to God. Here's a clip. You know, Lois, uh, since Chris killed that guy, uh, maybe he shouldn't live here anymore. Peter, I'm scared. Don't worry, honey. You'll have plenty of time to escape while he's killing Meg. He hates her the most. Hey, everybody. What's for dinner? I got a killer appetite. Oh, 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 look out, everybody. He's gonna murder somebody. Awful. This is unpleasant for all of us. This this, this sucks. Yes, this is, this it is sucks. This is awful. This is not going to work at all. Wait. This is this is. Uh, you, you, Are you getting help? No, you can do this without me. <laughs> well, as you can tell, the live audience didn't really care for the show, and I think the Asian baby was a mistake. You know, I know it's hip to adopt them, but they they really can't take direction, at least not peripherally. Oh, and that actress died after falling through the window. Which was good news, because it made me realize that Family Guy should be animated. So we went after the biggest names in Hollywood to voice the characters. I was meant to play Lois Griffin. I mean, I'm Kathy Griffin, she's Lois Griffin. I mean, what are the odds? <laughs> and I actually have a perfect voice for cartoons. I have shot so much Botox into my neck that I sound exactly like Kermit the Frog. Well, actually, he's, he's a Muppet, so... I mean, I guess I have a perfect voice for Muppets. Oh, God. I'm turning into Ellen. It's okay, though. I love the gays. Ellen, you're my boo. They wanted me to play Chris originally, and Chris is the kind of guy that's like, he's like a kid, you know? He's like, uh, uh, he's like the kind of kid, you know, that when you're grown up, he was always wearing a hat. Like, dude, dude, why are you wearing a hat? All right, take the hat off for once, you know? He takes the hat off, and there's like worms growing on his head. He's got like worms. Like, dude, what's up? You got worms. What are your worms on your head? Where, where, where do you come from? Ooh, girl. I was drawn to Meg because I knew that if I showed up at the recording studio, they would pay me money. Easy, breezy, beautiful money. He's on my bristle with the basil rich hazel. On the gristle in my castle with my lasso, my nephew. I play the baby. With all of those heavy hitters involved, I thought, how could we go wrong? This is how. You know, Lois, Chris is cool and everything, but uh, since he killed that guy, I don't know, maybe he shouldn't be living with us here. Peter, I'm scared. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll have plenty of time to escape while he's killing Meg. He hates her the most. What's for dinner? Remember TV dinners? TV dinners? Um, Jane, that's hilarious. I love your act. So much energy. Uh, but can we just stick to the script? TV dinner? Psh, I'm hungry. <laughs> what about the watery corn that was, like, hot as lava? Oh, please, Dane, just tell a joke. Something people will laugh at with a punchline. You know what I'm talking about? Corn, watery corn? You, know, you, you like biting the corn and be like, ah! You know, ah! The script, guys, come on! And the roof of your mouth would be like, ah! I'm on fire! Guys, come on! Buzzle Kim Pasta Buzzle. Man, what a train wreck. <laughs> I ended up doing most of the voices myself and firing everybody else. Anyway, I hope you've been edutained by this retrospective of Family Guy. Join me next time when I explain how a baby with a football-shaped head can pass through a woman's hoo-hoo. I'm Seth McCormick. Good night.